Hey everyone, Holden here, also known as Keen Tester. Today we're going to be going over Testim. Testim is the first and AI-based platform that uses smart locators to solve two of our biggest challenges as test engineers, and that's slow authoring and unstable tests. Testim provides flexibility with the options to use their test grid and or integrate with third-party testing grids such as BrowserStack and Sauce Labs. Testim provides super fast authoring of stable tests and the ability to write code write code for your tests or codeless or both. You can also export your tests as Selenium compatible code and it overall simplifies your software quality. So let's check it out. We're doing a live demo on this so I apologize um, if it doesn't go as planned but this is going to be a live demonstration of writing a UI automation test end-to-end -end using testim just to show how efficient and how fast it really is. So when you jump right in, you create your account, you have your tests, you have suites, you have plans, labels, and shared steps. We're not going to go over too much of that just in this demo. I'm just going to write a test and show you how it works. So let's go ahead and click create test. So right here, we can go ahead and click record action here. Hitting this plus, we have um, this all list. We can do actions, we can do validations, we can do weights, and you can even create groups. These groups are handy because you can add steps. For example, a login or logout process. If you're going to be repeating it multiple times, you can group your steps into these groups. And then you can just simply add a group right there, which is very nice. So let's go ahead and record an action. We're going to set our base page or our home page. Um, this one, let's just do Google. We'll hit create test and right away you can see your web browser open and we can see the setup we can see the google.com so let's move our web browser over here and let's perform some actions so we're on google here let's search test automation so then we're going to scroll down here we can see it's scrolling on the page we've set that we've searched test automation in that web element of q we're scrolling down the page and next let's click search already right there we can see the Google search there let's add a validation here so shall we so we want to make sure that that link is displayed so first let's go to validations let's do element text let's click on that we want to make sure that the text does in fact read a test automation next let's scroll down the page just a tad bit and let's do a validation on the test M text hey what do you know it's test in there Let's do this, and then let's click that. We want to make sure that that text is visible there and is as expected. Next, let's record another action here, and let's navigate to the page. We are going to click on that. And next, we're on this page here. And let's say we want to, how can we do a quick validation on this? Well, we can do a validation on the logo, I suppose, here. So let's do that. Element is visible. Click on the logo. Perfect. Let's go ahead and hit stop and let's run our test. It's going to launch it here locally um, just because I have it set up to run locally here there. And you can see it's doing its thing and that fast we just wrote a test um, using Testim. It is completed. We'll go back to the editor. Check that out. So let's go ahead and make this fail. So let's edit this text and we can do expected value to be something else. Let's go ahead and hit save and we should expect that test to now fail doing some negative testing here. And you can see how easy it was to go back and amend a step simply clicking on it, clicking the edit, and now it's going to hopefully fail because it's looking for text that is not accurate there. So it'll time out, it'll keep trying it for a little bit, and we should expect that test to then fail. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna minimize this here. We can see it spinning and spinning. It's trying to do its thing. And you can set those timeouts um, and exceptions for um, how long it looks before it fails. So we can see expected text and we can, we can see it right here, the actual. 
right there, the actual test automation. So it shows you what exactly failed. We can also go to our runs here. And you can also schedule different runs, configurations, reports. Again, we're not going to get too much into that right now. Um, but we just have our untitled test currently. So let's go ahead and go back and we'll fix this. Save that. And we can keep going. We can uh, do more steps here. So we should still have our window open. So let's say we want to add another validation here or something. That's easy. You can literally just jump right into a previous step. And let's say we want to do a validation on, I don't know, the Google logo. And you know what? We want to make sure that we also have the search button there. We want to make sure that we can change our search. Cool. So we've just added some steps that quick and that easy. Then we can go back and we can run. We can rerun this. And something like this, you know, we did it in just a couple minutes. Uh, we're now at six minutes and 20 seconds and, you know, intro and all. Uh, and we have a really quick test that we just put together. Um, writing your tests is insanely fast and I am very very impressed with the test dem team um, and what they're what they're doing here um, and I strongly encourage you to give it a shot and try it out so let's go back here let's do another validation element visible want to make sure that we can log in and we want to make sure that we can Start test and free. You know what, let's also, because it is page specific, let's do the date. Element text on that right there. And what's nice about this is we can move these steps around simply by dragging them around. We can also see that it grabs screenshots. So if I click this icon here, we can see this screenshot and we can see our baseline. So this was the baseline here, and we can see when it's in full screen, here's the result, and it's simply looking for that text, so that passed. If it didn't see that, we would see another different baseline where it would like throw an exception where you can, you know, approve it or say no, that is not what it should be. Very, very cool. So yeah, that is in a nutshell, testdim.io. Um, I will be having a PowerPoint presentation that is attached with this video that you can find in the description. Also, check out my blog, k33ntester.tk, and I will also have more information on TestDim there as well. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to check it out. I will also be linking the sign-up um, link for TestDim.io. Have a good day.